Today, I'm going to be adding interior to the Ultimate Vacation Yacht. Let's get started. All right, finally, here it is, the interior on part three of building this thing. So we're actually going to be doing all the interior. So we're actually going to be doing most of the interior for this thing today. I don't know if we're going to fill it all up. I feel like it's going to be kind of a lot with this bar and the two bedrooms. And actually, it shouldn't be. We'll see what we can do. But let's probably start on this main bedroom right here, the VIP suite. So the first thing I think we need to add in here is something right here. So I'm kind of thinking a TV screen. And when it's activated, it will slowly rotate. And then if we're sleeping here, it'd be like directly in front of us. So um, let's kind of start on this. It's probably hard to like understand what I just said, but you know, we'll figure this out. So we're going to add some stuff like this and we're going to do the plus arrows going that way. We're going to put this entire area here flat and grab that. And now we need it to kind of like do some twisting. Actually here, what should we do for this? So for it to twist, we're probably going to grab two robotic pivots just like this. All right. And then we're going to merge them together. And this is the thing that the actual TV will be on. So let's grab ourselves a TV here and we're going to want it to face something like that. So yeah, when it curves down, we'll perfectly be able to see what's ever on the TV screen. And now we actually have to um, extend this stuff right here for however far we probably need it. So we're going to go probably decently far. So something like that. So let's grab ourselves some track right here. We already have some of it. So we'll just use some of this. All right, we're going to line it down. And this is the track that the TV will slide on. So we'll do that. And I think we're all good for this. But now we need like some switch boxes and stuff. And that's why we have this very cool microcontroller here. Um, now we need an actual like logic room. I think we should definitely figure that out today. So where should we put all of our logic in this thing? I think one of you guys did say like somewhere over here in the comments. Um, do you guys think that'd work? I mean, maybe. I mean, I guess I don't see really why it wouldn't work. So yeah, right here will be our entire logic room. Okay, that is a pretty large amount of space, but we have to use it wisely because a lot of these logic things are like really weirdly um, shaped. So yeah, so we're going to start doing this. So linear track for those. And I think we we're going to need another one here. So I'll place another one directly above it, another one. And then we're going to um, place these to our robotic pivots. And now we need an actual button to like activate this. All right, so maybe we'll put it like right here. So we'll put like a toggle button right there. That actually seems like the perfect spot. So we're going to put this right here, just like that. And this will actually activate both of these. And then let's see which arrows these are directing in. So when the TV's on, we want it to be at a pivot rotation of what? There we go. That's all we should really have to do. It was a little bit complicated, but we figured it out. Um, hopefully, I don't actually know if we did. All right, so in here we go. We can just act like we're sleeping right here. We'll turn it on. And there it is. It kind of works. Oh, it goes a little bit too far. Um, Yeah, we probably should fix that. So instead of them being at negative 0 0.45, we're going to do 0 0.8. Actually, we're going to do 87. Okay, I feel like that's the perfect number. All right, so we're going to hop up on our bed here. We click this. We're going to be like, we want to watch TV. There it is. That's awesome. But now it's kind of like hard to click again. Maybe we'll put the actual like button somewhere um, closer that we can actually see them. But that's actually really nice how we got that done. Amazing. But then, of course, we cannot forget about some lighting in this room. So we're just going to put some normal lights here. Um, there's going to be like LED lights and stuff in here, of course. But these are just going to be the normal lights that are, um, you know, just normal lights. Okay, so we're going to color them this color too because it like adds a cool tint to the room when they're on so there we go that's looking nice and now what should we do with these walls we should definitely paint them some color here same with the floors and i think the ceiling might be fine but i do know something i feel like we can have the bed be this color right here i feel like that's just a really good i feel like that's just like a really good color for this so we're gonna do that and then for some of the walls here we're gonna use this custom shade of like a wooden color i just made with this like palette thing i don't know i feel like that'd look cool and then we cannot forget about the blocks behind it oh i think i did the wrong ones now we have like a wooden and wall here we're gonna just yeah probably um what should we do with the, these walls over here though should i like make them a different color i feel like that'd look good because you know we don't want everything to be like the same color um especially this bed here we need to like do some type of change for that so we're just gonna color this wall right here probably like a gray color and like add some variation in here so we're gonna do something like that should we like cut it off right there um we could do that so would that look good i think that's actually yeah that'd work all right then for the bed here we need to make it like a gray color i kind of feel like just on the top here so it wouldn't be like anything crazy so it'll be like a little bit of a darker gray than the actual wall we just kind of painted there so we'll do something like this and there we go we kind of have like some color change going on there i don't know if i really like that but you know we'll change it if we don't but actually i'm kind of thinking if we just painted it brown like the normal brown the normal palette brown so like the one i didn't customize i feel like this would look good so like the wooden color we're using like the fishing boat all right i don't think that looks bad and then maybe for over here we'll make a darker tint of gray from the one over there just you know to add some variation once again so we'll do something like that for this little um separator area right here so this is like our our little window area all right now it's time to turn off symmetry because we have the bathroom here and we don't want to really mess with that so let's see we should probably have the um actual cupboard cabinet things be like wood colored just so you know they like you know store stuff in wood i don't know i just feel like that kind of makes sense so we'll do that 
and then this entire actual inside right here will be a pretty light gray color the same um tint of gray we did on that wall over there so this will look good and do you guys think i should spend like entire videos on separate rooms if i did that these would look absolutely beautiful when i'm done with them i just like i don't know if you guys would want to see me build like the same room for an entire video it looked good though it looked much better if i just did like all the rooms in one day i can definitely see that but we're just gonna kind of test this today we're gonna see how long i can really just even last on this room so all right so let, what, what should we have for this like separator right here should we make it like wood um ooh, actually i don't think that even looks bad okay we can do that and then for over here on this wall we'll just make it like a light gray color same thing with over there great looking pretty good i feel like we should have our like curtains or whatever these are uh, a little bit of a different color maybe i mean white's normally curtain color i don't know yeah great um let's kind of start on this wall here let's get rid of our paint palette we don't really need that anymore so we're just gonna paint this also the light gray color we should add like a picture or something in it maybe a t no we already got a tv um i don't know what we'd even add in that wall so we have the lighter wall there maybe right here we could have like a darker wall wait is this how far we want the bathroom to be away from the door i feel like we could maybe extend the bathroom but i don't know it might like get in the way hold on we're gonna spawn this in and look at it because i really do think we could extend the bathroom if we really wanted to just a couple blocks this way like maybe one block or two i feel like that's just way too small um uh, yeah definitely it's just way too open with that like that so we're just gonna kind of extend it here all right we got it cut out of the wall we're going to drag it so let's see um i feel like this would be maybe too much um wait would it be uh, yeah kind of so if maybe just one block would actually probably do it it'd leave enough like open room and it would leave enough like you know um so it doesn't feel like claustrophobic so we'll do something like that perfect and then we're gonna color this front wall right here probably like a darker gray color but the door will actually be a different color itself just so you know a more design okay so it's a modern look so we'll make like the door maybe a lighter gray color okay something like that might work we should do something with this corner here i really don't like how it instantly fades you know what i have a great idea for this wall we're just gonna make it this um brown wooden custom um crap brown color we made earlier today so we're just gonna color it all that nice looking color right there um yeah so that'll look good and add some more modern to it and there we go i feel like that looked fine and then i feel like it's kind of too blocky right here i don't know if you guys feel the same but we can cut that out and have it be like some custom color right here so it doesn't look like it fades so bad um so maybe we could keep it like the brown color or the gray color i feel like gray would look good let's try brown real quick um yeah i'm kind of thinking this gray color just kind of like fits in better with the door so do something like that i feel like that'd look good and then for this entire wall right here i'm kind of thinking it'll be the light gray color just keep it simple um we definitely need to add like some type of um storage area right here so maybe we could have like a glass um i don't know we'll do something like that so let's make this door like darker actually should we have it be just pure white we can do that i don't know we need flooring in here too all right so let's go ahead and look in here i did change one major thing so let's go in here i changed um the dark color so it's dark it's still darker than that light color right there but it's like a tad bit lighter than the actual dark like lighter darkness so we only had to do that because of the flooring right here it's like a peach color um it wouldn't work because this is just way too light of a color for this room so i feel like it looks kind of better now i definitely like it though but i am kind of thinking we could possibly leave the ceiling white i feel like that also wouldn't look bad at all on um, that also means we have to color the curtains to kind of make it look like it's not part of the ceiling so we'll do that or else everything's looking good we're gonna add some leds down here probably on the floor and maybe even across the ceiling here i don't know how that's gonna work because it's like curving at some point so that might be pretty hard but yeah let's get started on this all right so it's really hard to tell like the difference i mean not really but you can like paint it right here the curtain color and it's yeah much different let's probably start on these leds that i've been talking about this entire time so i'm kind of thinking down here would be a great spot so right here we could have led lights completely wrap around the bed and how we're gonna do that we're gonna grab a paintable um indicator here so it indicates us about something but no we're using this for um an actual led strip around our bed here so we're just gonna do this and i have to manually paint these um it's actually not that hard i'll show you guys in a second here so we're just gonna put these all around right here we can't do it because it's a corner all right so to get rid of these um black and white things we're gonna do let's see replace color and wait should we have all this like be like kind of gray under here like a darker color maybe oh not that actually that doesn't even look that bad at all by itself okay man i don't know you know we'll just leave it like that and i'm kind of thinking just for some more design we're gonna have it actually kind of turn right here um yeah you can see the peach color i just added so we're gonna color that um should we have a turn like that or have it continue being like um completely no we definitely need it to turn all right that looks much better great all right so let's start on these leds so we're gonna do replace um color and we're gonna do it this gray color here so it'll replace all black to be that color and white so we just have to do this a couple times on like every side so you guys might be thinking how am i gonna get this to actually like glow so normally what you guys think you'd have to do is just use this yellow here and that's all you'd have to do see how it's not glowing so what you're gonna want to do is go to additive and there we go so now what matters is what kind of led color do we want so let's just show you guys so yep there you go that's your glowing for you so we got glowing actually white um 
Should we do white? I feel like white would actually work. Um, it kind of like adds to the lightness of the room here. So we're going to do white probably all the way around two strips of it just to like, you know, make it more visible to the eye. So we're going to do that. And then um, maybe we should copy this to the other side if it's not like actually working. But yeah, there we go. We have LEDs. Um, I don't know if those are going to work or even like be They're They're going to work. I don't know if they're going to be like visual to us though, because they're kind of like under the bed here. I'll show you guys once we spawn this in here. All right. So if we go up here and we click our lights, um, yeah, we can't even see the LEDs. So maybe we should have them be on the bottom instead of the top. That would work actually probably perfectly. We're going to do that. All right. All done and fixed. Let's click it. And there we go. We got some LEDs going on down there. It looks actually pretty good. Not bad at all. Wait, I just realized something. We probably shouldn't put those right there. We could put them on the actual base. I feel like that'd look better. I'll see you guys when I'm done with that. Just got the new LEDs put in. Look at those. Oh, looking beautiful. And it actually wraps around the edge right there. It makes it look even nicer. So there we go. We got some LEDs going on there. We definitely need to add some more in here. Maybe um, some on that wall right there that like kind of edge on the side. Um, Anywhere else. Um, Oh, we got to fix that. Um, I don't really know. All right. So we're going to delete this entire wall right here. Grab some paintable signs, of course. So paint. And then we're going to just face it the right way. Oh, I need to turn on my um stuff back on. So we're just going to drag it up. Oh, we can't do that. Great. And we have to now do replace color and just do this a couple times. And then we're done. We're only going to do this on the right side. And then when we're done, we're going to um, do it on the other side, of course. So we'll do that. And should all of our LEDs be white? Um, I feel like that's kind of like plain, though. I don't know. Should they all be white? Who knows? OK, so we're going to turn that off so we can see everything. Yep. Look at that. Looking nice down there. If I owned a yacht in real life, this is what I would do. And it's like, you know, my vacation yacht. So, of course, we're going to do that. We can do two now. Um, two or one. OK, we're going to do um, two additional row or just one additional row here. Just see if this looks better. OK, we cannot do that. Oh, gosh, I have to redo it. So that's what two would look like. I feel like that's kind of too aggressive, though. So maybe we could just do one. And then actually what we're going to do for this, we're going to have it line all the way across on the bottom. I feel like that'd look really nice. Hopefully it's not too much like, you know, LED lights. It, it'll work. All right. So something like that would look good. Doesn't look bad at all. OK, so now we're going to connect this to all of our lights and actually look at it. All right. Entering the bedroom here. Turn on the lights. Oh, that looks super nice. OK, we're going to definitely stick with that. I don't know if we should keep it um, white, though. We're, we're we can change that, of course, if we want. So we got our nice TV screen there looking good. Of course, we need to add our bathroom here and actually some um, tables here. We need to add more like actual props. So we're going to do that now. All right. So in the bathroom here, what color should we have the walls? Um, we could probably keep it this gray color for the floor um, walls, maybe white. I mean, white would work. And then ceiling will make like a light gray color just to like add some kind, some type of like actual different color in here. So we'll do something like that. Perfect. And then we cannot forget about a toilet. So, um, oh, it's like actually uneven. So toilets wouldn't be that well in here and i just realized like how ugly these doors look um they look like actual like fishing boat doors i don't want them this is like a yacht we need actual good doors here so we're gonna replace some of these doors with these unless i actually can't which is actually gonna be the scenario for a lot of these and you know what instead of having this door here we're gonna do the same thing we did over here we're just gonna add like some of these door ceiling things so so we could just probably line this directly up just like that and same thing on this side it's just barely enough room for us to walk through i think wait can we even walk through that i don't know oh gosh we have to um test this of course but this would be our entrance here that is very tight oh no okay um how do we do this we could delete that block there and actually oh we could delete that wall and then put the actual other door right here maybe i feel like that'd work yep so we'll do something like that okay so now we have an entrance to the bathroom um now we don't need to really worry about that stuff here so oh um we can barely even enter from the sink so we'll go over here for the sink um i want to extend it another block but then we don't have like any room for a toilet we'll just build the toilet first so over here will be the um toilet so should we do it in the corner right here? I mean, that's really all we have room for. Um, that's not a toilet. We really don't have enough room for a sink. Um, maybe we could just have it in here. The um, public sink could be right there. Um, so in here, what we could do is have a toilet and a shower in that case, if we're not going to do that. So we could have our toilet extend out right here. And then, oh gosh, do we have enough room for a shower? Maybe. I don't know. It'll be close. So we're going to put the toilet actually on this side. Probably we're going to put it um, at this height right here. I feel like that's a good height. So we'll have it kind of curve like this. Actually, that's way too tall for a toilet what am i thinking okay lower one block and then we'll do the actual things of the toilet like that so there we go we got ourselves a nice toilet right there and now let's actually start working on the shower here so let's grab some two by threes and this is actually uh the start of the shower we'll do like something like this on there so there we go we got the start of the shower going on there with our super tall ceilings holy great and then at the top there we'll do the one by one window all right so right here will be the shower um what is this oh gosh um wait can we even have a working shower we could if we do like something back here but that'd be really close guys oh no um okay so we have like our shower thing there of course the walls need to be a different color like in the actual shower so we're gonna make it all like this 
slightly darker gray tint color and then should we actually have like a water tank somewhere we should it's like a yacht you know like definitely need one uh where should that be dude i don't even know we're really packing this thing to the brim over here and then this might be a little bit extra but i kind of want my toilet to be like golden you know this is real gold by the way so it probably does weigh quite a bit now we have a gold toilet of course we have to line the inside of it too perfect and we actually need like a drainage pipe for it we can't just have it kind of be like that so we'll do something like that and then we have to make like the kind of bottom support beams for it oh yeah golden toilet is looking nice guys just popping off right now and then for the curves right here we'll grab the wedge and just smooth it out just like that perfect now we got a nice golden toilet oh that looks so good just to make it even more realistic we're gonna color this side right here so there we go now it kind of looks like we actually like have the working toilet part of it so there we go all right bathroom is looking um done but we still need to add water should we do that we'll probably do that if we ever get to like the plumbing part of it but now we need to actually add like props around here finally so we'll do like a desk right here or something oh i don't even know if we can do that anymore because it blocked the door oh no okay we'll do it somewhere over here probably all right so i have my ikea prop pack right here it looks very nice so this is where i get all my or most of it from so let's see what do we need um some type of like maybe actual drawers actually no we already have like some stuff of that i don't even know what i'm looking for to be honest we'll find something that looks cool probably and just stuff it in there i feel like this looks cool you know we could put this somewhere so what we're gonna do is just copy all of it um we don't need that top part honestly that looks really bad okay we'll just put that up there so everything that we want we'll just put directly up all right so we have some props here really not a whole lot i mean it is modern so we don't want to like fill it to the brim so we need to get rid of this yacht painting down here so what we'll do we'll just copy this put it down there in our bedroom um it kind of looks like our yacht doesn't it like of course we need to still add like that antenna part oh we probably should have done that in our other video anyways we are just going to bring this down here and grab a picture of our yacht and maybe this wall right here would be perfect honestly what a great spot for it um so we could put it right here would that look good if we put a picture of a yacht on the wall um let's put it there merge it in and here it is the picture of a yacht that kind of looks like it's not supposed to be there it looks like there needs to be like a picture frame to it there we go so i'd say that looks better with the picture frame on it yeah that definitely looks like it belongs there okay we'll do that and now we have whatever this is here this is pretty cool but i don't know if it's actually gonna fit in our bedroom it is pretty tall um tall isn't an issue though in our yacht here so it should fit right if we put it like somewhere like right here we're not gonna put it there but yeah it would fit oh yeah we don't have uh any type of room for that probably out here it works so any room out here oh this thing's way too big guys i don't know if this would work and i do have like this little safe cabinet here so we're gonna put that there and rotate it completely the other way and put it over here also all right we're going shopping again this is also where i grab my props at props for the home so right here has also all the props i use so yep this is it uh maybe this little desk right here would actually work for our um area what i was talking about anything else in here that i think would be interesting and eh, not really for my bedroom okay so we're just going to copy this all right so we can put this here it does fit but the kind of it looks kind of like it's blocking the door um let's just see if we can actually walk through it still oh i actually got rid of the light switch too when i did that okay that's unfortunate so we can actually walk through there okay we'll keep that but all right i'd say we got this room pretty well done of course let me know if we should add anything else and i will definitely add stuff uh off screen because i'll come up with some like weird ideas to add something in here but let's go ahead and spawn it in let's kind of look around and see what we added today so right here is the room oh it looks so nice in here i just can't wait to take this thing out for yachting so right there we got our nice tv we got our um bathroom shower right here it needs a light in it of course we'll do that off screen but it looks very nice in here i love this so much but this is what it looked like if we just entered it oh i can't wait to fill out this entire area over here our bar oh it's gonna look so nice but of course let me know if we should continue doing these like one room one video things like i'd take an entire video just for one room it looked much nicer at the end so i kind of prefer that but of course just let me know but that's probably gonna be it for this video let me know what we should add to this thing next but make sure you guys like and subscribe hit that bell join the discord link is in the description but thanks for watching and goodbye